One small business owner says knowing the do's and don'ts about international trade is important before stepping into the real world, especially after Russia banned food and agricultural imports from the West, which could hurt farmers close to home. My business kind of helps those new customers that are kind of afraid and don't know all the procedures when they export. Brian Miller's company, Expedited Worldwide Solutions, helps other owners so they can grow internationally. We work with small, medium, and large companies, and they're compliant, and they're following all the export rules and the government rules. He says learning about international exports benefits not only him, but others as well. The main reason why these owners were here. Some of the partners here are your best advocates. She says it's important to know what resources are at their fingertips if they want to enter the trade market or boost business. Many people would be surprised to know how many Iowa businesses are actually involved in exporting right now. Iowa ranks high in food exports, especially in China and Russia, where population exceeds productivity. That is a niche that we feel very strongly around the world. So it's important to note that breaking down barriers is key. There's great upside uh, as we succeed with TPP, but there's also a great uh, potential downside if we stay on the sidelines and let Australia, the European Union, or others get preferential access to the market at our expense. Japan, Mexico, Canada, and Europe are countries where many products like soybeans, dairy, and meat are exported from Iowa. Now there's a chance for our local businesses to continue to make progress and negotiate international trade with the export market. Marissa Scott, CBS 2 News, 10 at 10.